Hello and welcome to the 74th episode of the Sock Bunny Knit and Fit video podcast. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sock Bunny, and today is Friday, February 22nd, 2013. I am recording in sunny Florida in the United States of America. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really do appreciate it. I am Sock Bunny pretty much everywhere on the internet. You can find me as Sock Bunny on... Ravelry, Plurk, Instagram, Google+, iTunes, Blip TV, Twitter, I think that's it, can't think of anything else. The uh, website for the podcast is SockBunnyKnitAndFit at no, dot blogspot.com. The uh, email address is SockBunnyKnitAndFit at gmail.com and the Etsy shop is SockBunnyStudios.etsy.com. I uh, had some good news about the podcast this week. Laura, who is Laura Mag on Plurk, she's also a friend of mine on um, on uh, Facebook. She messaged me and said, uh, asked me if I knew that my podcast podcast had been mentioned in a knitting magazine in the UK. And I was like, no. And she said that Simply Knitting, the April issue, uh, has a little blurb about my podcast. And she mentioned it. And I did. I do have a screenshot. It's going to be blurry for you, but I can show you at least. Um, she took a picture of it so I could show you what it looks like. And then I'll read you what it says. So you probably won't be able to see this very well. But it's in the bottom corner of one of the pages. And it's in a little section called plug in plug in and it says sock bunny knit and fit sock bunny chats about her knitting crochet spinning and other crafts as well as her keep fit antics and then it gives the little uh, web address so I was so excited I had no idea this was coming so if you are the person who referred uh, the magazine to my podcast please let me know because I would really like to say thank you for that and I was just like the whole evening just sitting there like I can't believe it that's so shocking um, and when I told Joe when he got home he was like what because it's so, he said it was so weird that it would be a magazine that's not even in the United States it's in a different country so I think it, it impressed him that this is not just some little uh, podcasting not my podcast but podcasting in general and knitting it podcast more specifically, is not just some little passing fancy that I happen to be doing right now. I think he might actually take it more seriously now. So thank you whoever uh, referred my podcast to them. I really do appreciate it. And um, that just really, <laughs> it was one of those unexpected things that just really makes you smile that there's no way I could have even dreamed of something like that, much less planned it. So um, I'm super excited. So thank you, whoever that was. And thank you. Thank you, Laura, for telling me. Um, I did. Uh, I had lunch with a friend today and I stopped at the bookstore on the way home and they have the March issue, but not the April issue yet. So uh, as soon as I get my hands on it, I will show it to you guys. <laughs> super excited about that. Um, let's see. I have my show notes on the computer, which is why I keep looking to the side. We do have a shop update this week. It's going to be... Uh, two o'clock on Sunday the 24th of this Sunday and I'm going to show you the items the new items that are going up and I apologize if I have to keep rubbing my nose because I am having a really bad time with my allergies right now because the trees are um, blooming in Florida because I think our pretty much our cold weather is over here and so all the trees are blooming and it's just driving me so crazy so I apologize if I sound or look a little weird weirder than usual today Okay, so we have three colorways going up in the shop today, and, um, sorry, I dropped stuff. I do, uh, have, still have plenty of stock in there, uh, from previous updates, so if you want something, go look at it. But, uh, this first, uh, this first colorway, it's not as bright as what you're seeing. This is, uh, especially this bright pink part is not that bright pink. Let's see if I get closer, if it'll get a more accurate. I'm recording later in the day than usual. I'm sorry, again, I'm sniffing here. Um, and it's not, and the sunlight is different. So it's not as peachy bright as what you're seeing there. So uh, anyway, 
Last week I had a colorway called Rhymes with Purple because I was trying to think of something clever that, rhyme, that rhymes with purple or whatever. So this week the colorway is Rhymes with Pink and it's several different shades of pink. And like I said, it's not as bright as what you're seeing here. Um, there will be two skeins of this and it's on the Miracle Base. Then I have two skeins of DK and this is in a sort of a wine color, like a burgundy, not really a burgundy. It's just the color of wine. It's like a grapefish color. It's got several shades of purple in it. And so I was trying to think of some, a clever name that had to do with wine. And the only thing that kept coming to my mind was, would you like some cheese with that wine? Because, <laughs> you know, if you're ever complaining and people think you're whining, they say, do you want some cheese with that wine? So that's what the name of this colorway is. Would you like some cheese with that wine? And that's DK, um, Superwash DK. And then the last colorway I've done before, and it's not showing up at all like it looks in real life. It's not this bright in real life. It's it's it mustard and relish is the colorway name, and that's what it looks like. That's a little bit more accurate what you're seeing there. Mustard and relish, and I got the idea for this one one day. We were at the flea market, and they had all the condiments out for the hot dogs, and I thought that the mustard and relish would look really good together. So there you go. That was my inspiration for that one. That's on the um, sparkly base, which is the sunshine base. So those will be going up on Sunday. If you ever see something on the podcast that you want me to reserve for you, I am more than happy to do that. And um, if you ever see anything that I've dyed and is not currently in stock, I am more than happy. I keep all the recipes for what I do, and I'm more than happy to recreate something for you if you want or need it. So just let me know. Or if I do it on the sparkle base and you want it on the miracle base, or if I do it on like the fingering weight and you want it done on the DK weight, just let me know. I'm more, more, more than happy to do that for you. So that's it. Again, that will be Sunday at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Okay, what are we going to talk about today? Charity, fitness, finished objects, works in progress, knit and crochet alongs, tips and tricks, favorite things, and what I am watching and reading. So first, we're going to talk about charity. I do have, um, oh, here it is. I, uh, last week I had shown you I had crocheted a blue hat, and this is the same hat, but it's in a uh, jacquard yarn. This is, um, and again, it's not as bright as what you're seeing. There. Actually, that's pretty accurate right there. This is Bernat Baby Jacquard in the florals. Uh, I think it's orange blossom colorway. And I had used this colorway a few months ago to make a preemie blanket. I love this yarn so, so, so much. So there you go. Really, really cute. This is the Shells and Trellis Cap by Pam. And her last name is H-A-S-C-H-K-E. It's, uh, I use a size H hook. It's a free pattern on Ravelry, and also if you go to the Halos of Hope website, they have free hat patterns there, and that's where I first found out about it and then found it on Ravelry. So I am going to um, uh, knit several hats. I was saying three, but I might do four or five um, hats for Halos of Hope, and then the rest of the year spent, uh, send all my hats to uh, Pinellas Hope, which I will be doing a... Uh, hat-a-thon <laughs> um, again this fall where I'm gathering hats and scarves. Uh, this year I'm going to expand it to be hats, scarves, and mittens for children and adults. It's not just men. Last year it was just men, but it, this year it's going to be for everybody. So that's my one of my finished objects. Uh, and that was charity. Let's talk about fitness. We in the Sock Bunny group have a fitness along every month. Any day that you work out at least 30 consecutive minutes, you could post your workout in the fitness thread. Each month I draw a winner and the winner gets a either a $5 giftable pattern on Ravelry or some hand dyed yarn or fiber in um, any color they want, any colorway they want, up to three colors, or they can pick something that's already in the Etsy shop. Um, and we also currently have a uh, poster contest, and all the it's there. It's 
I'm not saying it's complicated, but there's a lot of details. So if you're interested in hanging out in a group where people are motivating you with their fitness posters and uh, you could have your own fitness poster with your goals and track your workout and all that kind of stuff, go to the Sock Bunny group and there's a thread there for that. So I, I won't go into the long explanation here about that. Um, I guess that's it. Let's see. Uh, I did, as I mentioned last week, I joined Weight Watchers on Valentine's Day and I have lost weight this week. I did my weekly check-in. My weekly check-in is going to be on Wednesdays and I did my weigh-in and I uh, did lose weight. I lost three pounds uh, the first week and I know that's not going to happen every week, but I was pleased with it. Uh, some days are easier than others, especially when I don't feel good. Like right now I feel really yucky because of my allergies and it's really hard to behave myself when I don't feel good because I want to fall back on the, the crutch of eating the junk food and drinking a Coke and, you know, giving myself that little pep, you know, that I get from drinking a Coke. But um, I have been behaving myself and still tracking my food and all that kind of stuff. So I'm very happy. I'm not going to say how many pounds I lost every week because to me that's a personal thing and everybody's different and people tend to compare themselves and that kind of stuff. And that's not the reason I'm sharing with you. I just really want to inspire you if that's something, you know, that maybe you've had a fear of doing. So I'm not doing it to brag. I'm doing it because I want to help other people and inspire you. And so I'm not going to, every week, I'm not going to say numbers because it's, it's not, it doesn't matter how much I lost. It matters how much I motivate other people. Um, that's what it is to me anyway. So, uh, in the future, I will just say, you know, yes, I did lose weight or I'm at a plateau or whatever, but I'm not going to give actual numbers in the future. But I figured you'd like to know for the first week, you know, how I did. So, um, I did go to spin class. I think I only got to go, did I go twice since I, I think I've gone twice since I recorded last time. I'm pretty sure. So I didn't go last night because I was not feeling up to it. It's hard to go to a spin class when you can't breathe. <laughs> Sort of got to have oxygen, you know, to work out those things, you know. Okay, uh, let's go into finished objects. I showed you the hat that I made. I also finished um, something for the sci-fi knit along. I finished part of it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, we are having a sci-fi knit along currently in the sock bunny group. It's running through March 15th. You can use sci-fi yarn or sci-fi patterns or whatever you want. Um, post your finished object in the thread. Um, there are going to be prizes, which I'll talk about in a second. And um, it could be sci-fi or fantasy or superheroes or anything along those geeky. Let's just consider it a nerd or geek uh, uh, knit along. It doesn't have to be sci-fi um, for it to count. So if you're concerned that it may or may not count, you can always ask me and I'll tell you. But we've been pretty relaxed. You know, I think there's been some Lord of the Rings stuff mentioned and um, some uh, superhero stuff and stuff like that. So what I am doing, what I'm doing is I am knitting four dishcloths that are Doctor Who themed. And then I'm, but I'm not knitting them out of dishcloth yarn. I'm knitting them out of acrylic. And then I'm going to seam those four together and make a pillow. So this is the first one that I did. This is the... Uh, simple Dalek dishcloth. This is a Doctor Who reference. The Daleks are Doctor Who's mortal enemy. And in fact, I have a, do I have it over here with me? No, but I do have a, I've shown it before. I have a Dalek um, uh, project bag. Anyway, um, I had mentioned last week that I started this project with some Red Heart Super Saver and it was horrible. Ugh. So I ripped that out and I started over and I knit it in Karen Simply Soft, which is super soft acrylic yarn and Michael's had it actually on sale this week for two dollars a ball a skein which was good so this is Karen Simply Soft and this is the soft pink colorway this is a very soft acrylic so I did the first one and you can see there's my Dalek so I'm gonna like I said do the other three in the same yarn and then uh, seam them together and then knit a back panel and stuff it and make it into a pillow so I'm gonna have a pink girly doctor who, because my um, Dalek project bag is pink, so I figured it was okay to do pink Daleks. <laughs> I love it. Doesn't take much, right? And these go really fast. I did this in a couple of days, just, you know, sitting down for like maybe an hour each time or whatever. So 
You only have to be, know how to knit and purl to do this, so it's super easy, brainless, TV-watching type of thing. But believe it or not, even I can mess up something like that. <laughs> Um, okay, so that is my uh, finished object. The tag, if you want to tag your project, is KRD for Knit Run Dig because we were going to do this with Sam from the Knit Run Dig podcast, but she's not feeling well. Sam, I hope you're feeling better. And um, so I'm just doing it by myself, but the tag is still going to be KRD for Knit Run Dig, SB for Sock Bunny, and Sci Fi. So it's KRD, SB, SCIFI. Or you can go to the group and find out what it is there. Um, I am going to be giving away some stitch markers. And I am a bad, bad podcaster. Courtney sent me these weeks ago, and I kept forgetting to show them to you. And so, Courtney, I give you deepest, deepest apologies for being such a slacker in showing these off. So she sent some um, pod, uh, some stitch markers. Um, she's Mermaid Bird on Ravelry and Silly Goose Knits on Plurk. And so she made... Uh, three sets. One is for me to keep, which I will show you first. And I like how she puts them on these safety pins. So this is the first set that she made for me. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It's not going to focus. Let's try this. That's a little bit better. They're really pretty. Pink and green, which I love. And then she sent two sets for me to give away to you guys. And they are the stitch markers that have the little beads on there. Let's see if I can get to focus. Oh, yeah, it's not wanting to focus today. You get the general idea there. So there's one set. How many's on there? Two, four, six, eight. And then here's another set. So thank you, Courtney. And I apologize for being a bad podcaster and not showing you those earlier. So those two will go, uh, those will be two of the prizes. There will be some other prizes which will be announced. There, I will give it away probably at least one pattern from Ravelry also. All right, so that was the uh, Sci-Fi Knit Along. And again, that's running through March 15th, so you still have plenty of time to uh, create something or use some of your Sci-Fi themed yarn. Um, next, we're going to go into works in progress, and I have a few things that have been worked on a little bit. Nothing's been made major progress, but I have quite a few things that have a little bit of progress. First thing is my um, some socks I'm making for Joe's aunt, who is a huge Steelers fan. She lives in Pittsburgh, and uh, I had dyed this yarn months ago, and I'm knitting her some Steelers colored socks. And to me, these are the ugliest socks ever in the history of the world because they are black and gold. And I think the last time you saw them, I had gotten to here on the foot. Here's the heel. Here's the foot. I think that's where I was last time you saw it. So I haven't done very much. What, maybe 20 rows? I really want to get these off the needles. because I hate them. It's a labor of love, and I'm sure you all know how that is. Sometimes you get to knit things that you hate because the person who's going to get it is going to love it. And believe me, his aunt will love it. She's obsessed. Okay, like I have room to talk about obsessed, right? <laughs> okay, next, I'm designing a half pie shawl. I've mentioned it several times. It's called the Bee Leaf Pie Shawl, and I can't show it to you, but I could show you a glob of yarn. I'm mean, actually in the middle of a row, but it doesn't matter because you can't see it anyway. It's not nearly this bright. And then it's this is some lace weight that I had dyed. There we go. That's actually better. And I'm using beads on it. And I got I finished designing like the first 90 something rows. So um, Sarah, who is Apple Blossom SF, is uh, from she's from the Apple Blossom U podcast. I asked her to test it for me, and I actually dyed some. Um, teal turquoise uh, lace weight and sent it to her and uh, so I sent I sent her the first like 90 something rows and you know I was like oh you know it'll take her a couple of weeks or whatever I uh, and on top of it she hasn't been feeling good but despite that she has already knit like 50 something rows I think she might have done that all in one day 50 something rows it took me weeks <laughs> 
<laughs> and so she actually texted me and she was like, there's a problem on row 40 something or other, I think. And I was like, I looked up like, yes, I did that. It should actually be blah, blah, blah. And she's like, okay. And then like two minutes later, she texted me, okay, I, I undid it and did it again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she knits at least three or four times faster than I do. It's ridiculous. So so thank you, Sarah, for uh, testing for me. And I was actually thinking about it earlier. And I was thinking, you know, she might finish the shawl before me. And I haven't even designed the whole thing. If she knits so fast, she might just be done. <laughs> you know, my brain, it does weird things. So anyway, so that's the uh, pie shawl. I really, really want to be done with the design part of it by the end of February. So that is the goal. And I have, what, like almost not quite two weeks for that. Well, no, actually, I only have a week left because there's only a week left in February. It's a short month. Yes, get all that. Okay. Next is my sexy librarian sweater. I did get some done on this. Um, this is the classic 150 lace pullover or something like that, but I call it the sexy librarian sweater. Oh, I apologize. I'm so sniffly today, but I did get some done on the back. No, this is the front. I finished the back. I had I shown you guys the back? I don't remember. I'll show you in a second. I finished the back. This is the front, and it looks just like the back. The bottom part is this um, cute rib basket weave type thing. I don't remember if I showed you. Or was I almost done with the back last time? I don't remember now because I didn't, I didn't show it to you last week at all. This is the back. It's sort of wrinkled because I've had it shoved in a bag. So you can see I have the arm decreases for the armhole on both sides. And I love working with this yarn. This is Kramer Yarns. Um, I don't think I have a ball band with me today. Uh, let's see, hold on. Yes, I do. Okay, this is Kramer Yarns uh, Tatami Tweed DK. And you can see it's got these little pink and purple slubs or nips or whatever you want to call them in there. It's a cotton acrylic blend, and I am really loving it. It feels even cool to touch it. So I have a feeling this is going to be extremely comfortable. Um, spun in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, USA. And let's see, where does it say what it is? Oh, this is the price tag over it or something. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's on the very front. <laughs> my brain. Um, it is 45% cotton and 55% acrylic. And I, I definitely would knit with this yarn again. So I have this in my knitables bag, which I had to earn with my workout uh, mileage. And I did. I love it. See Maisie and Bella there and Franklin. I can never remember her cat's name, her boy cat's name, and her lizard. I can't remember, but they're adorable. She lives uh, with the cutest animals. Okay, so that is the, as I call it, the sexy librarian sweater. Okay, the next project you haven't seen in a while. And the reason is because I was not happy with the yarn. I loved the yarn when I bought it. Isn't that typical, right? You love the yarn when you buy it. So I bought this yarn when I was in Rhode Island um, right after Christmas. Um, I went to a yarn shop and I bought this yarn and this is um, Wisdom Yarns uh, Marathon Sock and it has this um, metallic thread running through it. And in the ball, it's fine. It's not very scratchy. I mean, I don't feel like I could use it as a Brillo pad or anything like that, but knitting with it is torture. It feels like I am knitting with sandpaper. I don't know what it is. I cannot stand. I knit, I started doing the sock head hat and I had done about this much of it. And I, then I picked it back up again. I knit two rows. I was like, I am not knitting with this yarn. I hate it. So I contacted them because I mean, if I had bought it at a local yarn store, I would take it to the local yarn store because I actually, it's so scratchy. I think there might be something wrong with it. That's how scratchy it is. I don't know if this metallic is supposed to be like this or if it's just a problem with this ball or what, but 
if I had bought it at a local yarn store, I would take it to them first and see if I can exchange it. But I'm not driving all the way to Rhode Island just to exchange some yarn. So I contacted um, Wisdom Yarns this week, and I did hear back from them. And at first they were like, take it to your local yarn store. And I was like, I can't because I got it in Rhode Island. So they were like, oh, well, we can exchange it for you. So I am working with them, and I was very, I'm very happy to say very, very good customer service. So I'll be exchanging this for a different colorway that does not have the metal in it. I don't know what colorway yet, um, but it will not have the metal in there. So that all being said, very good customer service from Wisdom Yarns. So I've knit with them several times. I still recommend this yarn a lot, just not this colorway. Uh, I don't even know. This is why they're North Pole colorways. Horrible, horrible to me. Anyway, that's my opinion. So uh, <laughs> throw that over there. So I'm going to be sending that back to them. And so I still want to knit the sock head hat, which I will show you a picture of. So I decided to start over. And I decided to use some yarn that I've been, shall we say, hoarding, hiding, coveting, not wanting to use because it's so special. Um, here's what the sock head hat looks like. It's a very floppy hat made out of sock yarn. And this is, I believe, a free pattern. I'm pretty sure it's free. A free pattern on um, Ravelry. And it's by Kelly McClure. Um, yeah, and on Ravelry, she's Boho Knits. B-O-H-O -O Knits. So um, it's Sock Head Hat. And so I started over, like I said, with some special yarn. This is some yarn that I had gotten a while back. Um, from Highland Handmaids. She did a limited edition um, back uh, a couple of summers ago. They had the podcaster Plurk podcaster challenge and she had dyed this for that. So this is it. And it's not quite as bright as what you're seeing there, but here's what it looks like in the ball. And these are my kind of colors. It's got lime green, purple, orange. Let me show you up close and see if you can see. That's pretty accurate there. This ball looks unusual because I wound this on my nostapine or nostapin, as some people say. Some people say nostapine and some people say nost nostapin. It's a big stick. <laughs> And um, it is a little bit tapered, but I think you could use a dowel or even a paper towel roll to do the same thing. It wasn't as easy as it sounds, though. You think, oh, I just wind it on there, and then I have a ball of yarn. But if you want it to be center pull and semi look nice, that's harder than it sounds. I actually had to watch a bunch of YouTube videos, and even then, the center part of this does not look nice. I did get it looking pretty nice for the outside part. But it's going to be something that requires a practice. And it did take me a long time to wind this, like an hour. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, you're just relaxing and you don't, and you want to do something with your hands, but you just don't feel like knitting. You don't have the energy or whatever. And this was pretty, well, it will be brainless once I figure, <laughs> figure it out. Um, but if you have one, if ha have access to one, or if you want to try it on a dowel, it was, you know, it gives you a different shape ball of yarn, and it's actually a pretty compact ball of yarn, but um, it is center pull. You can see here, it is center pull, and um, just a different way. This is how they used to do it in the old days before they had those ball winders that we use now that uh, wind it into a nice center pull cake for us. So this is where I got, this is about where I was with the blue yarn before I decided that I was going to kill somebody if I had to keep knitting with it. So... There you go. So this is um, Highland Handmade. Let me see if I, I think I put the tag in here. Yes. This is her Silver Maple Sock Yarn in the Challenging Colorway. And it's 60% um, Superwash Merino, 30% Bamboo, and 10% Nylon. It's very, very soft. So yay, I'm happy with this project again. So it will make more progress now since I'm not hating it. Let's see, what is next on our list? Oh, lastly, I have um, the socks that I'm making for Mrs. W, as I call her, the lady who has 11 kids. And um, I 
was emailing her this week and I mentioned that it was super bright yarn and then I started thinking maybe she might not want super bright yarn. So I did today, I haven't heard back from her, but I did today send her a message with a picture because if she doesn't like it, I would rather her pick a different yarn. Um, so it's not this bright in real life, I promise. This is more accurate with the color. This is a, um, a colorway that I dyed called uh, 80s Fashion 2. It will glow under black light. And um, I'm doing one of the rib patterns from uh, Sensational Knitted Socks. I don't remember which pattern, rib pattern. Let me see if I wrote that down. <sighs> Open work rib is the one I'm doing. It's in the, um, that book has several sections. It's in the first section uh, that's four stitch rib patterns. It's in there is open work rib. So I didn't make very much progress. I think I might have, I didn't move my stitch marker last week, but I think I maybe did 10 rows on this one. If she doesn't want these socks, I will keep them because I love this yarn. So, but I, I know not everybody wants glow in the dark socks. I don't know why, <laughs> you know, different people. Okay. So that is all of my works in progress. Um, upcoming knit and crochet alongs and events. I drew the names this morning for our Easter swap and I haven't had a chance to send out the emails yet, but I will do that um, tonight after this uh, video processes um, and blip uploads it. So, uh, if you are in the swap, don't forget that you need to have the item to your person before Easter. And um, I did match up people that um, cared about whether or not they got religious or non-religious items, so we're good there. Um, from March to March 16th through the end of May, uh, we are going to have a knit and crochet along with um, hand spun. Took me a second. Also, I don't mention it. Just like sometimes I forget to mention that you can crochet items, not just knit. You can weave items too. If it's a ravel, excuse me, ravelry sanctioned craft, which is knit, crochet, or uh, weave, any of those three, you could do it for my knit alongs, unless it's for a specific pattern. But like if say, if I had, like we were having the sci-fi knit along, it could be a crochet along or a, a weave along if you want. It's just easier just to say knit along, but I really do mean all of them. So uh, that will be uh, March 16th until May 31st. And then June, July, August, I'm going to have Sock It To Me Summer, which is going to be a socks, sock explosion of socks. And then uh, September, October, November, we are going to have a hat drive for Pinellas Hope, which is a local homeless shelter. And then um, I've already decided that next January and February, I am going to have a Valentine knit along. So um, believe it or not, I have no stash enhancement this week. <laughs> I've been a good girl. I haven't been shopping. Uh, let's see. Tips and tricks. I did open a group, uh, in a group. I opened a thread in the sock buddy group where if you have any tips or tricks that you want to share, they don't have to be knitting or crochet or whatever, uh, just life in general tips that you want to share. And I will, uh, um, share them on here and thank you to everybody who's contributed so far. So if you have any tips, please go over there because I'm my, I'm getting tapped out on my tips in my brain. <laughs> um, so my my tip this week comes from PJ Crossan, and she says, this actually made me laugh out loud because it's something I actually do, except I, I'll tell you in a second what I do differently. But anyway, she says, take a tote bag with you where, whenever you leave the house. That way, if you buy new yarn or receive new yarn in the mail, you can put it in the tote bag and bring it into the house unnoticed. <laughs> And I actually do that. I carry a, a rather large purse. Um, so whenever I buy stuff, I actually take it out of the bag and put it into my purse when I bring it in the house so that people aren't suspicious. Sneaky, aren't we? So thank you for the tip, PJ Cross, and I really appreciate that. Um, my favorite thing this week is going to be a really fast one. I have a fascination with ducks in real life and um, rubber duckies I really, really like. Um, Real life ducks, if I'm outside and there's a, a pond with ducks in it, I am like mesmerized. I could watch ducks preening themselves and swimming around literally for hours. I love them. They are so funny and so interesting. And if you haven't stopped to watch ducks, you really should because they are funny, especially when they're preening themselves or if they're eating. And they, I like when they're eating um, 
maybe off the bottom of the of the pond or lower down in the pond and they flip upside down and all you can see is their tail little tail feathers sticking up and it just kills me to see a whole bunch of ducks and all you see is their little butts sticking out of the water love it so anyway rachel got me for christmas this rubber ducky she got it at bath and body works um again it's not as bright as what you're seeing there but it's sparkly hi i'm rubber ducky um actually that coloring is pretty good there uh, but this duck is special because it flashes. <laughs> ah, I love it. I keep this duck on my desk. How can you be in a bad mood when you've got a flashing duck on your desk? <laughs> there you go. It's the little things in life. I don't need a new sports car. I just need a flashing duck. There you go. That's my favorite this thing this week. Ducks. Rubber duckies and live duckies. I love them. Okay. What I'm watching and reading. Star Trek Next Generation. I am on season four. I'm about, I think I'm on about halfway done with the season. I have to tell you that I had a funny dream though the other night. It was a couple of nights ago and I had been watching Star Trek Next Generation in, right before I went to bed and I also play a farm game called Heyday on my phone and I actually even just started playing Farmville 2 on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, friend me, Kimberly Bassini. And if you you play Farmville too. We can be friends. <laughs> so anyway, I had been playing um, Heyday and Farmville before I went to bed and I had also been watching Star Trek. So I had this dream where uh, Commander Riker, um, the people on the um, ship with him were trying to get him to play Farmville or Heyday or one of the farming games. And he was like, no, I don't have time for this. And they, they said to him, you know, it would really help the um, morale on the ship if you would just plant some tomatoes on your farm. <laughs> what in the world is my brain doing with this information? I just, I woke up and I actually just started laughing. I'm like, seriously, that is just weird. <laughs> it would really help morale if you would just plant some tomatoes on your farm. <laughs> okay. I'm easily amused. Um, so that's it. I actually haven't been watching anything else, really. I mean, I watch The Big Bang Theory every week. Um, but other than that, lately I haven't really been watching anything. Um, Downton Abbey is over for the season. Um, I'm still behind on podcasts for Lent. As I mentioned, I'm only watching three podcasts a day, and I actually haven't even been doing that. I've really, during this time of year, I tend to spend um, less time on the computer, you know, because I'm spending more time reading and, you know, all that kind of stuff, so... I think that's it. Let me double check my notes here. Uh, don't forget the shop update is going to be Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, two o'clock Sunday, the 24th, uh, two o'clock Eastern time at, at sockbunnystudios.etsy.com. And I did get new, I totally forgot. Oh, I forgot to bring one in, but I got new business cards with the new logo. Ah, you can't see it. There we go. I got new business cards with the new John John logo, so I'm so excited about that. And uh, don't forget to post your workouts in the workout thread. Um, put pictures up. Oh, you, it's too late to put pictures up this month of your poster, but don't forget at the end of the month to, to put a picture of your February poster when you're done with it. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for putting up with me. We've been at this for about 38 minutes. That's long enough. So I hope you have a fantastic week uh, and keep on crafting. Bye.